we're about to head up to a mountain hut here in Bulgaria and we're going to be doing three days of backcountry skiing and bringing you with us. Okay, let's go. Merci. In Canada, we're used to having to ski to our mountain huts, but we actually get to take the chairlift up to this one. Ready to hit the lift. This is great. It's beautiful. Okay, we made it on the chairlift and our bags are <laughs> so squishing us on, but we're good. We're safe. <laughs> yours looks, you, you can't even see yours. There there's is. mine. <laughs> and then there's Brian's. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very chill, very small ski hill. People are downhill skiing here and there's one chairlift. And uh, so far we've really gotten that really um, friendly, small place feeling. It's really cool here. Yeah, and we're headed to Seven Rila Lakes, which we've been told is just an absolute gem of the Bulgarian wilderness also a national park. Feels like a really long ride. It's been like several minutes. How long do you think it's been, Brian? <laughs> 10 minutes? Yeah. It's been 10 minutes already. We're still going. We checked in and here's our little room. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I will be giving you a full tour of the mountain lodge. What are you doing there, Brian? Just prepping an alpine lunch. And we're just using what we have, hey? Yeah. Wow, the view just opened up. Here's the restaurant where we ate dinner and breakfast. There was a buffet of food to choose from and some nice hot tea. There were only a few other guests in the restaurant on our first evening because it was a Thursday. Time for bed. So we get breakfast included with our stay, but I got a couple extra things. So you get tea, not coffee included, and I wanted some espresso this morning. And then I also bought bottles of water because we didn't carry up very much water. Huh? 
Okay, so we just finished breakfast and now it's time to get all of our ski layers on and get out for the day. It just looks so amazing. I'm so excited to check this place out. I'm just standing at our window looking out to decide which route we're gonna take to go to which lake. And there's a couple ski tours out there heading out. Looks like they're taking the lower route, so we can either do lower or upper. Okay, we're ready to go. We're here at the Real Ski Hut, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up a little and then go up to these lakes and then maybe loop down and see the lower lakes and back. Crunchy snow. Best sound in the world. Oh look, there's someone going up. Where are they? Oh, yeah. So I think those are some of the shoots you can ski. Oh, yeah, it is. They look pretty gnar. Yeah. Those look scary. Yeah. We might not do that. No. We're not doing that. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Okay, Today we decided we would go out for a ski tour instead of a full-on backcountry ski day. What that means is we just expected to have our skins on the entire time, so it would be more like walking than downhill skiing. And there was one major reason we decided to do this. Safety. We've never been to these mountains before, so we wanted to go around the area, check out the mountains, the hazards, see what the snowpack was like. And then based on that information, we can decide tomorrow if we want to climb a little bit higher and do a little bit more exploration, take our skins off and actually get some downhill ski turns in. The reason it's so important for us to see the snowpack and analyze it ourselves is that there's not a robust avalanche forecast here in Bulgaria. There is one for Bansko, which is a ski resort that is in Bulgaria, but it's actually not that close to where we are right now. So we don't have that much information about the avalanche forecast and the likelihood of avalanches. So we actually need to go out in the snow and look for things that we know to look for based on our avalanche training that we've done. Things that we're looking for today are signs of snow warming or instability. So here I noticed some small pinwheels, which is signs that the snow is warming and little chunks are rolling down the hill and that's what creates this pinwheel. I also saw there was signs of a small slide here, so I'm just noticing where things tend to be sliding. Normally it's going to be on the warmer southeast facing slopes and that was the case today when we were out. I also love noticing the animal tracks, so I think this might have been a rabbit.
here. Oh, I sunk to my hip. Holy. There we go. Snack time. Okay, we got our thermoses. I got the small one, you got the big one. Do you think the lakes are fully frozen? Yeah. Look at those huge cornices up there. I know. This is corn essential. You do not want to drop in there on one of those cornices. Mm -mm. Mm, so it looks like they're going up there. Mm hmm. Puffy can go. Then. Summer rest. Not that cold. There's no wind. One of us is pretty much always going to be waiting on the other. And that's just <laughs> the way it is. <laughs> we just have to accept it. Eh? Okay. We had our lunch up there and we decided to turn around and make our day into a loop. So we're gonna head to a second hut and check it out and then go back to the hut we're staying at. Okay, so this hut seems to be closed for the winter time. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Look at that adorable clothesline. The clotheslines are very cute. That is so cute. What a day. Yeah. back at the room we were getting tired so we wanted to come back so here we are now we can relax for the rest of the day it's great so we just had a nice hot shower which feels amazing and i thought now would be a great time to show you this mountain hut and give you a tour so let's go Okay, we'll start here at the door of our room. We're room 101, and this is a hallway probably of all the same type of rooms, but let's check out the end. Beautiful view, check it out. Okay, I'll show you all the floors that have accommodation, so let's go. Take a look at these railings. They're heavy duty. This is the second floor, so there's a long hallway each direction with rooms. Let's go to the third floor next. Here's the third floor. I don't think anyone's staying up here right now. I don't think it's very busy in the winter. Okay, time to go up to the fourth floor. 
There's not many rooms on the fourth floor, I don't think. A couple rooms here. This is a co-working space right here. I can't open it. Okay, and then up here is the dorm room. This is the fifth floor and there's a dorm room on each side. Oh, wow. Look at this view. Spectacular. I mean, it's just worth it to stay here for the views. I'd highly recommend this dorm. These are beautiful dorms. This is the restaurant area where we've eaten breakfast and dinner so far. So we'll take you in there when we go for dinner so you can see a little bit more. And then we haven't shown you our actual room yet. We have our own bathroom. This is a premium double room. And so we've got a wet bath in here with a shower that has hot water and a toilet and a sink. We have two single beds here that are pushed together. There's a TV in here, which we haven't turned on. Two storage spots. We have our own heater here that we can control with this knob. And of course, the best part of the room, the view. Okay, that's it, that's the tour. So this is the hut we're staying in. We're definitely gonna stay here two nights. We might even stay a third night. How's that?